My name is Steven Leo. I'm born in Soweto. I studied at Vista University, but I had to drop out after two years because of financial strains and my father lost his job. I worked for Johannesburg High Court. Uh, thereafter, I had nothing to do and struggling, I had to end up doing recycling. What I collect on the street is your Coke bottles, your waste paper, your newspapers, your plastics, and they are categorized according to a recycling system. I would collect with a big bag, maybe the whole week, and then on a Saturday, then I sit down and sort the material accordingly and go and sell to the buyback centers. You know, waste picking or reclaiming, it has two phases. In the morning, I go out with my trolley, I collect materials, I provide a service to the city cleaning the environment. And at a later stage, maybe on a weekend, now I'm an entrepreneur, I'm taking my material, I'm going to trade it somewhere. Now I'm a business person. Our work is quite difficult. It's very much strenuous. It's cold, it's winter, it's dusty, it's sunny. All these seasons, I'm on the street. I wake up three o'clock, I'm risking with my life. I'm on the road with a trolley. For the mere fact that we're doing this work, it's quite dirty. There's also this perception by residents that they view us as drug addicts, as criminals. We get all those kind of harassment from law enforcement agencies that we don't want to see your trolleys on the street. You have your municipal workers, waste collectors, that get paid for collecting waste. Yet, we've been doing this for so many years. That's more like we're providing a service to the city. Yet, the, the municipal uh, workers, they only collect rubbish that is inside the willy bin. Something that is thrown on the, on the cap side, on the road and all that. Who collects all those things? It's us. But we're not being recognized. Why? We want to be recognized as workers on our sector. As I'm providing a service to the city, the least they could do is to make it a point that at least I've got a uniform. At least I'm being recognized. I've got an identification to say, I am a reclaimer. We, we little bit by bit trying to change the perception of municipalities as well as residents. We managed to open our own organization, which is African Reclaimers Organization, to be able to fight the harassment and the bad uh, names that we are being labeled. And also for municipalities, you know, waste management departments, that could be at least assisting us as we are assisting them to collect waste. African Reclaimers was born out of uh, what we called waste integration in South Africa. That was initiated by a national department of environmental affairs and they engaged with South African Waste Pickers Association and they raised some funds and got uh, WIGO to come on board and assist in organizing the reclaimers here in South Africa, mainly in three cities which is Joburg, Sasolbeck as well as Pretoria. Uh, the way municipality had that xenophobic mindset, you know, to say we can't help you guys because you've got a lot of people that are foreign nationals and are not properly documented, they are not legally here. And what we thinking is that instead of shifting them away, we'd rather incorporate them into the system to make it a point that our recycling rate in South Africa keep on going up instead of uh, going down. To show the government that we are not the people that are, are making the city dirty. We are actually cleaning the environment. It's not always about me making money, but also you look at the impact of what you are doing. Is it healthy for, for the environment? We regard ourselves as environmental agents.